what should I buy for my kid? Um, that's a really, really regular question I've been asked um, by trainees starting in film. And you know what? Today you got the answer. So first you need to make sure you're okay with waking up at stupid o'clock in the morning. Quite often your day can start at half five. Um, so obviously if you don't live close to the studio that may mean you're waking up at three o'clock, uh, maybe before sometimes. So if you're not an early bird, you may want to sing twice. Um, that was the first reality check. Then what do you need to buy to start your career? Well, ready to check number two when you start as a trainee you don't do much makeup you're gonna help with all the paperwork taking pictures giving the pictures uh, to the background when they arrive they always got that kind of continuity sheet for the makeup artists and hairstylists to know what they should be doing on them um, you're gonna do as well like lots of teas and coffees basically making sure all your team is happy and comfy um, so what do you need well paper pen, um, a big smile, lots of enthusiasm, that's how you're going to get noticed, okay? You need to start with some good gear, like waterproof gear, because quite often you're going to be outside, under the rain, and in the snow. I know, so glamorous, isn't it? So you need to have some good boots, um, some welly boots as well, uh, really good socks, like really warm socks, it's going to help you so much. Um, any waterproof coat, uh, that's going to be really, really important for you to keep warm and to be efficient and running around for your designer or your team, okay? Um, then finally, if you want something useful that's more makeup related, you need to have a bag when you go on set to put a few bits. Uh, you want a press powder. Um, never, never take loose powder on set. That's a really, really bad habit. If you are a bit clumsy like I am and your powder goes through, uh, you'll see the powder for ages in the air. I can tell you DOP don't like it uh, at all. DOP meanings director of photography. So don't piss up the crew. Take press powder, okay? Um, always useful, a bit of chamois leather if you need to mat down some glue. And uh, one of those pen um, you find in an um, art shop, you can put normally water in it, but in that one you'll put IPA. And uh, don't worry, you don't need to buy the IPA. Once you arrive on location, there's always going to be a big bottle of IPA so you can fill up your tiny pencil. It's going to be really, really useful because if you do any touch-ups on any facial, that's the first thing uh, you reactivate and you clean with that bit of IPA. Okay, and then you can um, get some glue. That's going to be the first few bits to buy if you ever do makeup first as a trainee. Most of the time it's going to be about mattifying and making sure the facial are in position. Okay, and the wigs as well. Same thing. So uh, you can have some mattifying creams as well. Some are really cheap. So have a look. Mattifying cream. You know all the boots and super drug stuff they have, like high street brand, are really cheap. So that's a good way to start. Okay. So that's it for today. That was a video from the Knit Kid. If you like it, if you know someone could make good use of that video, please share. Send them an email with a the link. I really, really appreciate. Have a good day. Bye.